To start, I have already washed my hair and I've twisted my hair. I use rubber bands at the base to help it stay secure. So I'm using my Taylor Beauty Grow Thick Oil and this is a protective hairstyle. So we want to make sure we protect the hair and keep it moisturized. So this is the hair I use. I'll be sure to link it below. I use the combination of different hair as well as textures and colors to make it look very realistic. So now it's time to show you guys how I install each crochet lock. I take the base of the lock that has the loop and I pull it underneath the rubber band of my hair. Make sure you're very gentle because this is a protective style. You don't want to cause any damage to your hair. Now I'm just pulling it through the loop. It's that simple. Since these are individual locks, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unravel the lock and I'm going to wrap it around each twist. This is how I'm going to secure each lock. So it's very simple. Um, you just want to pretty much kind of pull the lock apart a little bit at a time. Don't pull up the entire lock and wrap it around your hair. It's so easy to do. I like the free tris hair the best because it does give me the most um, realistic lock. I like the texture of the hair and it's the easiest to work with. So just take your time. This style did take me about six hours so just be very patient and I do this step for each lock. If you do have longer hair, once you get to the ombre, it does become a little bit difficult. So just be careful when you get to the ombre not to mess up the lock. And once you have secured the lock, you want to go ahead and tug on it just a bit to blend it with your hair. So now it's time for me to add these random white locks throughout my hair. So the only thing I'm going to do is crochet it into a twist that I've already done. I've completed my whole head with locks and I'm just adding the white locks to add some different colors and tones to my hair. So I'm adding the locks to random places in the back of my hair and the reason why I don't ravel the locks is because just crocheting it makes it look so much more natural. Now I'm adding the free tris hair to my hair. I'm going to go ahead and just take one of the curls and I'm going to brush it out. So I'm just going to add a little bit of oil and touch that up with oil to reduce the frizz and I'm going to randomly crochet it into my hair. I did two of these and it gave me this cute little goddess look. So here is the completed look. If you like it, make sure you give me a thumbs up and I'll leave all the info to all of the hair that I used for this in the description box. Thanks for watching.